Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review is a new RTA, the HA. The HA RTA by Van and Dell Design and Todd Reviews. Well, uh, when I saw this RTA, uh, mouth to long and direct to long, that we're going to talk about a bit later on in this review. Um, I knew straight away I would like to try this one. Um, this is definitely a high-end RTA and I wanted to give it a go and I had to pay full whack. I mean on this you can't get any bargains. Um, am I disappointed? Well, we'll find out soon enough, but before we talk about it, um, well, I'm not disappointed. Okay, a spoiler. But there's a few things that we need to talk about. Before we carry on, um, I would, um, I, I set it up a few times. I tried it a few coils. The latest coil I've got here, I've done a few days ago, and let's do, a re I, I'll put you through now to the recording when I wicked it, co uh, coiled it, and then we'll come up top and we'll talk about it a bit more. The R RTA mouth to lung forward slash restricted direct to lung. We'll go into it in detail. Um, but I got this a few days ago and I set it up and vaped it uh, on a, I wanted to see how it works on a 2.5 um in a diameter core clapton coil and then i want to test it on a coil i have done myself a three millimeter round wire 26 gauge now um you'll see, I'll, I'll explain soon why i want to test both coils as we go along with this um build and wick um, I'll explain it. Anyway, this is the tank. I was very much looking forward to get this tank. I bought it um, quite. A f I ordered it quite a while ago. I just got it, well, a few days ago, and yeah. So let's open the box. In here, you've got the O-rings, um, one big O-ring. I'll explain later what it is, and a few screws and an Allen key that you'll need for the deck. In the box, you simply get the tank, and this is the direct along uh, mouthpiece, and the mouse to long is already on it. Normally, when you get it, it's the other way around, I think. So let's take out. There's no, there's no instructions. There's no, there's nothing else that comes with it. Uh, just to show you before I put away the box, um, this is the wider bore of direct to long and this screws on onto the mouthpiece and this is the thinner bore for the mouth to long that's what we want I want it as a mouth to long I've got plenty of RTAs direct to long I wanted another one for mouth to long although I do have quite a few mouth to longs but couldn't resist buying this tank full price um, just look at this tank um, this is clean, classic design, very nicely engraved on the top. You can see it's hard to see on a silver, on you know, brushed. It's not, it's like a brushed silver. Or maybe it's a bit shiny silver, I'm not sure you can see yourself. But you can see the ha with the clouds. Apparently this is the fog that comes in, in Scotland. I don't know, you can read about it. And here you've got the clouds on the airflow ring i love this design it's a very nice and classy design so let's start from the top and this is this mouthpiece comes out and you got two o-rings here i've been vaping this on this mouthpiece it's you need to get used to it it's not super comfortable um, some people might find it comfortable. I think it would have been better if it had been like a bit thinner and higher, but that's what it is. Now, this tank is built from a few sections. You've got 
the deck that is plugged in from the bottom you'll see it soon this is the airflow um, now the airflow you've got quite a few configurations um, I'll take off the ring soon so you'll be able to see it better the middle section is the juice flow and the top section is to open up for to put in your juice so let's start with the top all the machinery here is perfect I normally use VG to lubricate the threading and this tank I didn't have to in actual fact it's quite uh, a bit on the looser side um, I wouldn't have minded a bit more resistance on on the juice flow and on the airflow but to put VG is a big mistake then we'll just be turning too too light okay so this is your where you put in your juice now this holds four mil so this comes apart as well and this is your this one big section you've got o-ring here o-ring here it's always important to remember where you've got the o-rings when you got them first time in case you lose it so or tears whatever you know what to replace now this is the section of the tank itself um, this is a high grade plastic I'll put it down below in the description the actual technical side of this name of it you've got two o-rings as well here one to hold it here one to hold it in the top now here this is your juice flow now on the tank itself you can see there is a marking to you can see them very hard to see is like two uh, in the, uh, like two d dots I suppose now originally when these two dots were parallel that means the juice the juice the juice flow was closed but they changed it in the final version and now if they are parallel it means the juice flow is open and you can see if I turn it you can see clockwise opens it anti-clockwise closes it now this juice flow is basically mounted right above the coil as you will see now and I learned that this juice flow is very effective meaning that if you leave it too open and you've got 50 50 you'll get leaking I had that problem um, I learned that you need to adjust the juice flow very carefully and this is a bit of a con because you can't really tell how much is the juice flow open for instance on the Expromiser V4 has got a juice flow you can see the actual hole which hole you chose on the k you could also look down and see how much it's open but this is all covered so the only indication you've got is through this uh, little dots here so when when it's fully open clockwise so it's fully open but when you start shutting it you don't know how much to shut so let's say if you want to leave this much open so you have to learn to, to find out where is that um, dot on this section on the juice flow if you understand what I'm trying to say yep so I mean this is now fully open so you need to know by trial and error and also it depends what liquid you've got is it a high VG or not so this is needs a bit of practice how much juice flow to leave open in order not to get flooding and then you get flooding out of the air holes I had it so we'll talk about it when I finish this review uh, in detail okay so this is the ring to open up your deck now this deck is plug out yeah similar uh, concept to the late all the pods you know these uh, mesh coils they just plug in the innikin and the like obviously this is a bit <laughs> it's this is an RTA but it's the same idea we'll put this aside in a minute and we'll take off the the 
ring for the air hole airflow and then you can see they got three holes here now normal RTAs it starts from the smallest hole to the biggest on this one it is not the same the two one is a 1.2 and one is a 1.4 one is a 1.6 the smallest one is actually in the middle this one here so you have to be aware of that I mean you can notice it straight away when you look at the holes that one is the middle one is smaller but it took me for a minute there to get the right airflow because I thought it starts small to big but it's not the case so you've got three on one side three on the other side so how do you configure mouse to long so the secret is it's on the ring itself you've got here three holes then you've got a wide opening for direct to long and then you've got a single hole here so if you get this single hole against the 1.2 you will get a fairly good mouse to long I wouldn't say very restricted but for me it's perfect as I don't like it restricted too much in any case but those who like a very tight mouse to long this tank is not for you because here you will get a nice mouth to long but not overly tight okay we'll go through that as well later um, so let's start putting the tank, the tank together again and we'll build the deck so I'll leave the deck out and we'll start building the deck here we go oh by the way this is also protruding 510 so you could use it on a mech mod now let's look at the deck for a minute uh, this juice this is more of an RDA type of deck this is a dripper this is not a normal RTA I mean just look at the size of this juice well that is why it is crucial that you get your juice flow correct because if you look if I open this juice the juice flow wide open and you will see it's mounted right above the coil or the, where the cotton goes on either side on either side so you will get oversaturation um, and then you'll get leakage so we'll go we'll go through that as well later as well now um, here you go serial number um, mine is a thousand thirty seven 38 um, it's quite it's quite visible but then you know it's authentic I suppose and if you can look carefully you see inside the deck you'll see um, air uh, the, the air system air flow is system in here as well so the air comes in through here right below the coil so you can see the holes here and they puncture right through obviously so it's the airflow is coming to the coils um, from underneath so really to wick this is also a RDA style wicking so that should be fairly easy okay now let's build this deck so what I'm going to use now I prepared already a should be a one ohm coil or thereabouts now I cut the legs a bit short I just hope it's not too short just in case I got myself another coil here so it's gonna be easier if you had a coil with longer legs but uh, never mind let's try our best here so um how we're we gonna mount this mm, i wonder if i can do it oh, it's gonna have to be um legs up and okay now on the coil itself 
on the deck you see you've got these little indents that is for your coiling rod to rest and to hold the coil in place so let's do that that makes life a bit easier to get the coil in because these are such short legs um, I don't want to just I don't want to throw out this coil it's a good coil and I've done it myself so there's no reason for me to throw it out just have to manage with these short legs okay this in just get this in that's it so you, so you see it's fairly easy um, the coil is in place held by the coiling rod coiling tool and now I just have to tighten up the screws and it's more or less completely central it might move out of place but you need just to hold it Yeah, it's in properly. Now the other side. So you see how the, the this coiling tool is the rod is holding the coil in place, not to move, and it keeps it bang on central. So that is a very nice touch. I've seen it in other tanks as well, but this is a very nice touch. Okay, so the coil is in. And now what you do is, is, is the coil in? No, the coil is not in. The coil is not in this leg escaped, sorry. So we're gonna have to do it again. See, this is what happens when you leave the legs too short uh, that was a mistake on my part, but I just don't want to. I don't want to give up on this coil yet, so it just takes me a second longer, and it's in. It's in. Okay. Now you just take it out, and it's bang in the middle. Now this coil is mounted perfectly because i did it legs up belly down coil down now it depends how you got your coil is it clockwise or anti-clockwise but if it's legs down <coughs> sorry if it's legs down coil up you need to push it down and there's a limit how much you can push it down with your rod because it's it's resting already on the deck so what you do is you push it down with your finger um, it should be fairly low down but this is okay because it's anyway tilting downwards okay now we'll just cut the now it's very important you cut the 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 legs of your coil nothing should you have to do with your finger to make sure there's nothing coming out of the deck that will cause a short now over here if you can see there is the insulator so it's very difficult to put your cutters against the deck and to cut because it'll still be sticking out so what you do is you come from the top and you do it that's it so you snipped it off and now it's then you put your finger to make sure there's nothing sticking out now let's give this a fire small pulses give it a bit of a although i don't think it needs much because they're a bit spaced out 
perfect and we'll see what ohms it comes out as 108 okay that's okay 108 so mouse to long coil so that's fine now we'll wick it just want to wait it to cool I'll have a quick vape Okay, I think it's cooled enough. Now, now, since it's so low, you need tweezers to grab hold of your wick from the other side, because with your fingers, it's gonna be difficult to get your... Now, since this is not a classic RTA that you have to thin out the, the, the um, I thin out normally or comb it out, here I think you will want to have thicker wick because the juice wells are so massive so if you have very thin ones uh, you will fill up your juice well like a um, like a dripper and it will eventually leak so what you need is to cut it like an RDA meaning um, quite thick but I forgot my scissors right I'll have to pause it for a second just one second, I need to get my scissors. Okay, I got my scissors, sorry about that. Um, right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna, um, as I usually do, I push the cotton against the deck. So I get a dent at the bottom of it. And then I will just cut it, I should reach the bottom of the deck easily yeah but just don't forget that you've got here a bit of a lip so you want to cut it a bit less because you're gonna the length is a bit too long if you have to if you fold it over because this is talking in so you want it a bit shorter than the actual um, bottom of the deck and don't forget that quite a lot of juice gets in there and um, you don't want to have the wick stuffed too much because then it's just gonna fill up with juice and over and leak into the airflow because the airflow is right there okay um, fluff this up and just fold them in into the juice well simple as that you've got loads of space to work with this is a massive deck um, i put in a zero uh, 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 2.5 and it looked like as if it's lost in here in fact the stretch between one post to the other actually spaced out the i can show you the coil that i've used uh, i didn't throw it out because i only used it for two days and it's a, it's a very good coil why waste it and here it is you see um you see how it became spaced out because the legs were stretching from one post to the other and actually i mean look at it new um, you see the difference you see the difference between these two this is spaced out um so really that's why i want to try this three millimeter coil because it looks a bit more suitable for this tank and I want to check out the flavor and also to see if there's any leaks um, because the 2.5 was so small that there was so much juice when I saw the leaking uh, I didn't realize the juice well is so accurate uh, and allows so much juice to get in that 
it was saturated completely. You will never get a dry hit, but you can have leaking. Okay, so this is more or less done. Um, now we'll um, moisten the coil. I don't want to moisten the coil too much. Um, the liquid I'm going to use for this is American blend from Drake's. Now this is a 50-50 blend. Um, so I need to keep really a, a keen eye on the juice flow. Otherwise I am risking flooding again. So I really need to keep an eye on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very lightly Okay, let me put it on, on the mod. The mod I'm going to use for this is the SL class from Yihi. Yeah, the mini that you can watch my review on this. Excellent mod. And you'll see how it looks. It looks beautiful. Uh, one minute, I need to, actually I don't have to, what am I doing, what am I doing? <sighs> All right, see you lose concentration for a minute and because um, anyway I got to plug this in, it's not like a normal RTA is it? Now you don't want your wick to be sticking out too much. Um, show you what I mean in a minute because when the juice flow this section goes on top it will actually squeeze down your cotton because you can see where the juice where the juice flow is from either side and it will go right on top of the coil and the cotton now if you notice over here there's a little indent on the base of the of the juice flow and the air the holds this whole section where the uh, deck goes in and here you've got as well a, li um, a lip you can see here lip so what you do is you just put it in and you meet the lip with the indent and then you know it's a perfect match. That's why I said it looks a bit like the new pod systems, you, the Inikin, or you know, that you just plug in your coil. Um, yeah, okay. So then you put the ring to secure the deck. You want to make sure that the juice wells are completely shot because if you leave them open you're definitely gonna have flooding so this is very important i wish i had some way to to, to, to realize because this turns very light and that's what i meant before that i don't put the vg on this tank because it just turns hardly with any resistance it might be a bit more resistance when i secure the tank we'll see in a minute um but for now and it's also very small so you know for keen eye for me i need I, I need my reading glasses but i'm gonna have to do it we have to get used to it um it's very small i wish there was a bigger indication of the f of the juice flow um so always turn it clockwise to shut it down so you know and it comes to a stop so you know that this is now shot um right so now let's carry on uh, let's put this back now this goes over here and this goes over here and you must hold on to this because you see i'm turning the juice flow now so y anyway you you got to be aware of the juice flow now the juice flow is completely open because i've been turned this clockwise so this is one thing that I'm going to discuss later when I finish this review. Okay, so now it's got a bit more um, play uh, resistance, but uh, if you tighten it fully, then the resistance is quite good. Okay, so what you do now is make sure 
that they're lined together, that they're not lined together, that means they're shot. Now, whenever you turn the juice flow, you must make sure not to turn the, because you can turn the airflow and the juice flow at the same time. So you turn only one finger, you only play with one finger when you do the juice flow and one finger when you do the airflow. Okay, I hope all this is not too confusing, but that, that is what the, that's what the tank is. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, okay. Let's make sure the juice flow is short. It is. Um, I'll fill up the tank. Now this should hold 4 mil, so you can see soon, you'll see the juice appearing through the window. So you know when you're running low. But I'm not filling up now a full 4 mil, because this I'm going to use now for testing purposes for the next few days. Um, now, to close, put the cap on. on. So you're getting a proper seal. Now, never overfill this tank, because then you're going to get leakage. And you've got four mil here, so it's not, make sure you, you don't have to overfill, right? Four mil is quite a lot for a mouse to long. Okay, so now this tank is all done. Let me just get it onto the right airflow. And then I'm going to open the juice flow. to find that hole is also not so easy here we go so now here you can see the single hole I'm choosing the middle one so you have to look closely to know which one it is if they had the numbers here one two three have, okay listen I can't give them ideas but like this you need to look closely knowing that this is the middle one the middle one is the smallest and now I want to open my juice flow so let me put this first on the mod always turn the tank with the upper part otherwise you'll end up turning your juice flow again so this juice flow you need to be aware of put on the mouthpiece a good nice fit i suppose you could use others as well i haven't tried them on others now this tank really is all set to go. I'm going to just open now. So you hold on to the middle section to open your juice flow gently. And I think I'm going to leave it this much. I mean, it's hard to see, but it's like sort of half, very little open because this is a 50-50 juice. Uh, let me see what it comes up to. 1.10. 1.10 ohm okay that's more or less like a 1 ohm um, 16 watts standard you can do this powerful you can do this uh, soft whatever let's do let's give this a vape we'll talk about it in a few days um, well for you it's going to be in, in a few in a minute but the flavor here is superb on any coil and the airflow is silent, smooth, butter smooth. The draw is very nice for me. Um, you can't get it any tighter. Obviously you can get it as a direct along, that's what it's um, classified as well now is this the case that a mouth okay we'll talk about my we'll talk about it more in a few days i just wanted to say when you take out a mouse too long so it's a mouse too long when you take a direct too long it's direct too long could you have them both and they'll be just as nice and good yes it's possible and other tanks can be done i've got quite a few rtas that could i can do a, a restricted direct too long but this even on direct along you can't vape on 100 watts right um, this is more of the 30 40 watts and um, not a crazy low ohm coil 
0 0.4, 0 0.3, something like that. This is, is, a, is a middle way between um, a nice direct, al um, direct along. I can do it now direct along. And you see when you open up the three holes, they open up on either side. Both are open. I'll do a direct along. It's a bit restricted. Uh, let's try. Let's try. Really, I will need. To, I'll do this in a few days when we talk about it on top. Um, <coughs> where are you, the big one? Here we no. Where is it? See, you have to turn the mod until you find. Uh, here we go. Now this is open, and everything else is shot. It's quite a restricted direct along. Some people do like it. Um, okay, L let me test it a few days and then we'll talk about it on top. I need to leave something to finish this review. I've got quite a lot of things to talk about. So for you, it'll be in a second. For me, it'll be in a day or two, three days, whatever. Okay, see you soon. So you've seen how I built and wicked it. But in that recording, I mentioned a few things that one needs to know if you want to buy this tank. Um, first of all, the appearance. I know I spoke about it below, but the angle of the camera wasn't to capture this whole tank in its full glory. So, I mean, you can see yourself. It is a very clean and elegant design. There's only one color. Uh, and I think they chose right. This in black wouldn't would look too overpowering. It's, it's too big. I'll show you soon something similar, but that has a different design, like the Brunhilde. But it's it's a different type of tank. I mean, it's quite a large tank. So I brought up a few large tanks to talk about as well. So let's talk about the. Um, juice flow the juice flow is what is the, uh, the only thing that i've got a problem with when i first coiled it when i first got it i put in a 2.5 in, in a diameter millim uh, millimeter uh, core clapton coil and i had a problem that it was leaking through the air the, um, air, 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 um, the air system through various holes. I'm not sure myself, it was always moist here. When I opened, when I took the deck out, I noticed that it was so saturated. It was like overflowing. So I noticed that the juice flow was fully open and it was too much for that thin little wick to absorb. Um, and when I vaped it, I felt like gurgling, like it was it, wa it wasn't right so what i done is i put in um the three millimeter the three millimeter coil so therefore you have more wick and since then i haven't got that problem so does this mean that this tank is only suited for a three millimeter coil i am not sure i'm still i'm gonna still going to test it out again on the 2.5 and this time, I'm not sure, you see, the problem is you can't put too much wick because you're going to choke the coil itself. So you're limited on how much, how thick the tails of a wick will be if you're putting it into a two and a half millimeter. In a three millimeter, obviously, is, a, is more wick. So the only solution, if you want to use a two and a half millimeter, is to keep the juice flow nearly shut. And that is where my problem is. You see over here, you see the two dots yeah one here and one here <clears throat> now if they were parallel against each other that means it's fully open this is a three millimeter and you saw yourself how quite thick the wick on the sides like like an rda and still i have to keep the juice flow at least half closed 
So with a 2.5 millimeter, you need to keep the juice flow nearly shut, just a teeny weeny open. But that is the problem. You see, look, this is the Kfon Prime. The Kfon Prime, you can see the juice well, the juice flow over here, all around the base. So you can see how much you got it open. But I already learned I need a one and a half twist, full twist. One full and then a half. On the extra miser, okay, I've got no liquid in there, I have to wick it. But you can see the holes. So you can choose what size hole you want. Yeah, you can choose the bigger one, the smaller one. So in, uh, with these juice flows, you know where you're at. On this juice flow, you don't know where you're at, except for after a while you get experience and then you'll know how to um, set your juice flow according to the, to the coil, according to the thickness of the wick and according to your VGPG. Yeah. Now, when it comes to um, the airflow, the airflow by me is configured. You see, again, I need to look very carefully because the colors is uh, yeah, it's silver on silver, so it's very difficult to see the holes. Yeah, now. For me, I keep it on the middle hole of the single ones. The draw. I know a lot of vapors would want to know how this draw is. Well, silent, very smooth, but not tight, tight, tight. Let me give you some examples. The Brunhilde has also got only one air hole visible here. The draw is a bit tighter than the, than the Ha. Okay, let's carry on. My Steam Crave uh, Glass Mini is on the biggest hole. On the biggest hole, it is similar to the smallest hole on the Ha. Let me just confirm that. I put this on the smallest. Impossible to vape. Second. Better. Max. Yeah. The biggest on the on the glass mini is like the smallest on the ha. The Kfon Prime, which is this the most direct rival. First of all, what do you think about the difference in appearance? This looks very nice, I must say. It does indeed. It looks high end, top quality. And you saw the machinery when I undone the tank. And this is superb built. This will last for years. Um, but the juice flow and the and the and the air system, the uh, the airflow, is something you need to know before you buy this tank. It's not cheap, so you need to know this. Um, the airflow on the k -fon. I'm a number three on the plate, yeah? It's a bit tighter, a bit tighter than the Ha. Yeah, just a bit tighter. If I would have put it down to number one, this becomes tighter. But I keep a number three. I do not like very tight draws. 
um, it's some people say they want to draw like a cigarette okay I understand that but a cigarette you don't when you inhale a cigarette you don't somewhat like a golf a golf ball in a pipe you don't suck your cheeks in to get a draw right it's fairly airy it's not so tight I think this airflow is perfect for 90% of vapors it's definitely tighter than the cog I haven't got the cog here it's in a different office but it's definitely tighter than the cog not much but the cog I like the cog because it's a perfect draw for me as well um, I mean the draw is not super tight that's all I can say now when it comes to direct along um, I will now put it on on direct along I think the best direct along is if you keep on three on both sides you see the three holes are open I can't achieve that on the glass mini because the glass mini I can't do a direct along not possible on the K-Fon even if I do it on the 6 too restrictive so here you can get a nice restricted direct along similar to my okay much lesser quality okay yeah the Amet mouse to long RDA when I do when I test my liquids I use that um, the gig vape Amet um, I keep it on maximum and as well on the galaxy uh, mouse to long RTA if you put it completely open you could do a direct along is it less restricted than this very similar I will put this now on the biggest hole now also you have to know when you turn your wheel for your airflow don't open you have to put your fingers on the wheel itself and turn your mod or you turn the wheel because otherwise you'll end up turning your juice flow and whenever you screw on the tank I showed it below as well always turn from the top and the air and the juice flow always keep two fingers on the middle and I, I tend to hold the bottom as well it's till you get used to it um, okay now this is fully open this is more of a airy mouse to long rather than a direct to long because what happens is is only one set open the rest are closed so the only way to get a true uh, uh, a, a semi-restricted direct along is by keeping these holes open on both sides I like it because it's a nice restricted direct along it's not a it's not a RTA direct along it's not a dripper it's not an RDA although the wicking style is a bit like an RDA but this in all tense and purposes this is more of a mouse to long that you can do a nice restricted direct along as well in my opinion there is a definitely a niche for this type of device tank besides the quality of the flavor I'm going to come to soon the airflow is just catered for not extreme on one end and not extreme on the other end it's not a sub -ohm tank it's not a dripper a double coil that you belch out clouds this is more of a discrete direct along RTA and a very nice mouse to long RTA after a while you get used to uh, the airflow the only problem I've got is because the small holes don't have numbers next to them and the middle one is the 1.2 um, you need to look so I always so I leave it and that is it but if you like changing you get used to it um, flavor wise it is right up there with the best tanks would it rival the k on flavor I think not better but at least the same a 
I've got the same juice. I put in the same juice in here because I've been testing this yesterday and today. Just filled up a new tank in this one. The Drake's um, <coughs> American Blend. I need a drink today. It's so hot. It's like 34, 35. I've been like this for a few days now. You might hear the whoosh of the air condition. I can't. Normally I like fresh air. But uh, today is impossible to sit here without air condition. The flavor on this is rich, it is accurate, it is saturated, it is just perfect, not too warm, not too cold, it's, it's a perfect vape, the, as the K-Fon is. The Glass Mini is perfect, the all, all my RD, RTAs are excellent RTAs, I do not buy anything that I have any inclination that I would not like. A few I've done a mistake with, okay, that's the way you learn. Um, but all of them I enjoy very much. But the quality of this tank, the overall quality is Kfon quality. Um, I know it's made in Hong Kong. But so what? So this is made in Germany. Okay. Germany normally is much better quality than China. Yes. But it's designed by Van and Dell. Designed. They are experts in high-end vaping gear so it, it doesn't really to me it doesn't make a difference where it's made it's who is behind it and what materials they use and the exp and, and the expertise and they came up with this should i say this is the best chinese tank rta perhaps but this definitely can rival any anywhere in the world i mean it is all the nerve, everything works, everything. Now, I mentioned below as well that it's a bit loose, but I wasn't 100% accurate because when you tighten the whole tank, it's got a nice play. It's not too loose, not too tight, but it don't need to put VG on the, on the, on the threadings because it's made so to precision that you would have no problem on um, opening and closing it later um, if you want to maintain it um, uh, to maintain it to change your cotton is it is easy you just unplug the the screw b underneath pull out the coil the juice will stay inside the juice will not come out i've done a few times the juice stays inside because you got the juice flow now if you leave your juice flow open when you put in the liquid or when you take out the deck you're gonna have gurgling flooding do not do that you must remember, like the KFON, it's the same problem and a bit of a lesser extent on the Expromiser V4. But like the KFON, it's very fussy with the juice flow. You need to remember, close the juice flow before you change the wick, close the juice flow before you change the uh, add juice, and just be aware how much you leave it open or closed. This review is, is taking a bit longer, but this is a high-end tank, so I think it deserves a thorough review. Um, anything else I didn't mention, I've got it in, in the description below. You're going to see the whole list of what, and another thing, there is a list of the O-rings in case you lose one. You know which one goes which, that's a very good thing to have. I record always the o-ring so like this I could always watch to see where was an o-ring that I missed out if one falls or one damages or whatever now the the, the mouthpiece the mouthpiece I find the kfon more comfortable because it's taller I find the expromiser more comfortable because it's taller o m most of them are a taller this is a bit of a problem if anyone knows a mouth too long a true mouth too long you know this is not the right mouthpiece for a mouth too long you got the the bigger one in here um let me just take a pen and get it out um where is it gone yeah this is Ah, it fell already. Okay, never mind. That, that is a wider board. That is more for director long. 
this I find uh, okay the ball is a bit smaller it's a smaller hole but it's not the right shape for mouse to long when you do direct along you you just he nail it right through along so it's perfect but when you do mouse to long is more like a cigarette you want the lips to feel comfortable here you get used to it but you can change it to something else I don't know if anything else will fit it I mean I can try it here while in this review let me take from the Expomizer V4 it's also got two o-rings on the base of the thing yes it also looks very nice but it ruins a bit I think this looks nicer because you got this um, this plastic I don't know what they call this plastic um, anyway you re you'll find it uh, uh, PC 1000 it does look nicer but this is more comfortable definitely is more comfortable but then I wouldn't have a drip tip for this one so I'm I'm gonna just get used to this one and uh, where have I put it now uh, you see uh, here we go can't lose these things it's very expensive I'm not sure if you can get new ones for this or not this has got a very nice tight fit it's definitely the right one this wasn't such a tight fit yeah I think it looks nice it would look nice also on the on this one because it's more or less this it's even taller so it will look perfect on the on the easy on the easy side mod side by side mod so if you've got for instance the new mod from uh, Aspire or any, any of this design lately they're coming out more and more you can definitely put this tank I don't want to take off this tank because I don't want to lose everything uh, you know what I'll do it for you now you see you can see um, how it looks I'm always scared I'm gonna change the juice flow or the airflow or something um, till I got it right now it doesn't leak I've got it's hassle free now but it took me a, a day or two to figure out what is what suits it best and how to do the juice flow and what coil what airflow yeah looks very nice what do you think looks very nice on the Aspire there's more silver maybe it'll look even nicer but I think the contrast looks very nice and there's a still a little bit room here to put a bigger one so always unscrew and screw from the top never from the bottom otherwise you change your juice flow and the airflow and then you'll wonder why are you getting these um, leaks right and don't forget there's a ring here to hold the deck in place all right I think um, I, I covered this tank on this review um, I would love to hear your views about it is any of the things I mentioned just to make sure my juice flow is okay yeah um, is anything I mentioned did you experience with it beautiful draw I mean it's quiet it's silent it's smooth the mouth the mouth the mouse piece takes time to get used to it's too thick for a mouse to long um, they should have asked a real mouse to longer and would have given him different advice a bit thinner and longer and apparently I heard originally it was this was even shorter lucky they made this a bit higher so at least it's yeah I mean this is this is very long okay but there is a compromise between the two I think the ideal is the um, K font size and the X promiser they all ha the, the this one here the glass mini they all they all very good mouse to long mouse pieces but I suppose you can change it um, if I want I can buy a new one just add it on that's it 
Okay, the review has taken a heck of a long time. Um, it's all sections that I've done over a period of few days. I hope it was beneficial, this review. Um, do I recommend you to buy it? By all means. This is a, one of my now my top tanks. This is a high-end tank. I love the looks. I enjoy the, the flavor very much. Um, you get the hang of it. This is a tank for, for life, as they say. Good old age. I mean, this can last you ages and ages. This is built to last. This is built to last. Definitely. I love it. I love it. And um, I enjoy it very much. I love the, the, the looks of it. The clouds are not so visible as you might think. And I think it adds a touch of elegance to it as well. And the engraving here in the top is very elegant no writing nothing it's just clean high-end good flavor juice flow you can control and that's a good thing so you don't go through juice plow through juice you can do it slower and very easy deck to work on as you've seen um, just I think a three millimeter coil is more suited for it but if you use a 2.5 remember to close the juice flow three quarters if it's a high VG, half fully, only when you do direct along very heavy VG liquids because the, this juice flow works perfect. No dry hits, that's for sure you, you won't get. Okay, I think I concluded this review on this excellent tank. If you buy one or if you have one, I would love to hear your views and comments. Until the next time, take care, enjoy your vape, bye-bye for now.